Okay, this is a basic one on heat pumps. I've been asked quite a bit about, you know, heat pumps, what they are, and so on. Well, starting with the basics, a heat pump is essentially an air conditioner turned backwards. If you've ever been outside a building that had a window shaker, window air conditioner, uh, in the wall or window, and if you walk by the outside, the air blowing out of that is hot. Air blowing inside is cool. It's actually picking up heat from the inside air and taking it outside and dissipating. Well, that really is what a heat pump is. If I was to take that air conditioner and I, in the summertime, I cooled with it, and then if I wanted to run it in the wintertime, to warm the structure, I could actually just turn it around backwards. And it would heat the structure, at least for a while. There's a lot more to heat pumps than just that. If I reversed that air conditioner and it got cold outside, say it was 40 degrees, you say, well, it's cold outside. I can't get any heat out of that air. Well, you can. Because heat is BTUs, it's not temperature. And there's heat in everything until you get down to 460 Fahrenheit or 276, I think it is, Celsius. There's heat in the air. For practical reasons, you can't absorb heat from something that's, you know, 100 degrees below zero or something. But there is heat in the air. So let's say it is 40 degrees outside. If it's 40 degrees outside, I can gather up BTUs out of that outside air, absorb it into the refrigerant, and then discharge it into the structure. That works. And the interesting thing about it, if I'm operating a heat pump at its optimum outside temperature, which would be 40, 45 degrees, I can actually get about four times as much heat as the energy it takes to operate the uh, compressor and the fans in the system. So ideally you could say it's over 100% efficient. Probably not really, but you could say that thermally it is more than 100% efficient. Now as the outside temperature drops, its ability to absorb heat reduces. So if it was 20 degrees outside, well, let's say if at 40 degrees, I pulled 35,000 BTUs out of the air, okay? And then it dropped to 20 degrees, I'm going to be more like 12 or 14,000. So it's gonna reduce as the temperature outside reduces, but in its optimum temperature, it is, it is over 100% efficient. So how can we adapt this to where it actually works in, say, a residential setting? Or could I actually take this and make it work in a residential setting? Well, they have been. They're, the oldest heat pump I ever saw was put in in 1945. Uh, by the way, I changed a compressor in 1985, so it lasted 40 years. Pretty good. Anyway, you can use a heat pump to efficiently heat a structure. Now there's a lot more to this, and in the next one I'll talk about comparisons of heat pumps and other types of heat and which ones may be best. That's it on this one for, for now.